now we get to the meshing so same is the case here you import s mesh so we have to go to mesh module right and now then you import solomon solomon dot s mesh imports s mesh builder because you want to build the mesh so now you create an object called s mesh and you create it from s mesh builder dot new class right exactly as if you see this is analogous to jompy dot new right so now that you once you have your object so in the same light like you when you when you created your object jompy that had access to geometry dot new uh, john builder dot new class right same way when you create this object that's gonna have access to this class now this class also has various attributes attached to it as was the case with the john jompy or john builder so what you're gonna do is so you have your object so you're gonna say mesh one is equal to s mesh dot mesh cut one right so why cut one now well okay so you created your object called s mesh from this class s mesh builder dot new and then once you have your object that object can have access to all the methods inside this class correct so which is mesh s mesh dot mesh this is one method mesh and then you have to give the argument why argument well you have to tell which entity has to be meshed right and so we want to say we want to mesh cut one okay that's fine so you give mesh underscore one to this for example if you were to create any other mesh another mesh so then you'll have mesh underscore two equals to s mesh dot mesh and then you'll have maybe some other entity as an argument so that's exactly what's happening now you have net gen 1d 2d 3d object right so this is your kind of object which you get after you have applied tetrahedral because we chose tetrahedral cells so when we choose this uh, method onto our mesh one object this is the object which the resulting object which we get so you just choose net gen 1d 2d 3d and this is how it's get rid it gets written okay so now you have your now initially you had your s mesh object and then you uh, applied mesh to it and then that mesh the first resulting mesh was mesh underscore one and then to mesh underscore one what you want to do you want to apply net gen uh, 1d 2d 3d and now the working object is your net gen 1 3d parameters underscore one now how do you get this object you get this object by applying parameters to net gen 1d 2d 3d object now the same like you have these methods applied to your apply to your mesh right and then we are not really bothered about these ones but the, so the thing which we are bothered about is set local sizes are we bothered about these ones because we wanted to create two groups and we put square one and square two in those groups respectively and then we did that because we wanted to have full control over the sizes on the squares or cubes and you can change the sizes like you know you have these parameters you can change the size to whatever you wish to have so basically how mesh is generated and once it's done then you can say mesh one dot compute correct and now the same thing which we did earlier set name this is setting of names right and you know, these are the string values which you which you see now one thing which we forgot to do was uh, that we didn't save the uh, I'll show you how to do that we didn't save it the mesh right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna so I had another mesh which I saved and I dumped the study so when you save your mesh so this is the kind of stuff which you get basically and then that mesh the saving of the mesh that's done inside the try and accept block now those who don't really understand what try and accept is basically what is happening is that you want to run this command okay so this is the command which you want to run and you put that under the try method so why try method because you are not sure what user is gonna give you're asking for the prompt from the users then you try and tend to uh, put that under the try block and if this is correct then it's gonna go through and if it's not then you're gonna get this error so basically that's what's happening 
uh, now that we have understood and then this is just to put the desktop if it has desktop so you are not running it remotely uh, well uh, that's how you read the file now once we have read it then we obviously the whole point of reading the file was to to be able to change it according to our own needs and wishes and which will be done in the next lecture i'll try and show you both the incorrect and correct way not really incorrect but a very crude way so in the next lecture i'll try and go over the crude way and also the best way to change your script we'll pick a parameter and then we'll try and tweak it through the script and uh, that's pretty much it thank you for your time